जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी जय राधा कुंज बिहारी जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिब्राज का चार अष्टोद्रक्ष श्रीमद इस डिवाइन गुरेश भय चरणारविंद भक्ति वेदांत गोस्वामी महाराज प्रभुपाद की इस्कॉन विभ्र संस्था बगाचार शुपाद की जय ओम विष्णुपाद परमहंस परिब्राज का चार अष्टोद्रक्ष श्रीमद इस डिवाइन गुरेश भक्त सिद्धांत सरस्वती ठाकुर प्रभुपाद की अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की नामाचार्य शिल हरदास ठाकुर की प्रेम से कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर श्रीवासदि गौर भक्त वृंद की श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंड राधा कुंड श्री गिरिगोवर्धन की ब्रजभूमि श्री वृंदावन धाम की पुरुषोत्तम क्षेत्र श्री जगन्नाथपुरी धाम की नवद्वीप मायापुर धाम की गंगा माई जमुना माई की भक्ति देवी तुलसी तो महारानी की कलयुग पावन हरिनाम संकीर्तन की हरे कृष्ण महामंत्र की श्रीला प्रभुपा ट्रांसल बुक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे ऑल ग्लोरिस टू असम्बल डिबोटिस ऑल ग्लोरिस टू असम्बल डिबोटिस All glories to assembled devotees. All glories, all glories to Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So we are uh, very happy to have His Grace Gauranga Prabhu here with us. Um, so uh, Gauranga Prabhu joined uh, the Iskon movement in 1993 in Iskon Chowpati, and he has been uh, he has been a pioneer in youth preaching. and uh, he is also currently the uh, director of the um, govardhan eco village uh, near mumbai and also he is the uh, member of the gbc and um, he has authored several books and he is uh, very well known for his wide preaching and also he is uh, authored several books also and um, so we are very happy to have him here today to have the geeta lecture ஸோ இன்றைக்கி நம்ம கூட வந்து கௌரங்க பிரபு அவர்கள் இங்கே நிகழ்ச்சிக்கு பகவத்கீதை உபன்யாசம் தர வந்திருக்கார் அவர் ஹரே கிருஷ்ண இயக்கத்தில் ஆயிரத்தி தொள்ளாயிரத்தி தொண்ணூற்றி மூணில் சேர்ந்தார் அதற்கு பிறகு இளைஞர்களுக்கு பிரச்சாரம் பண்ணுறதுல மிகவும் தீவிரமாக இருந்து நிறைய பக்தர்களை உருவாக்கியிருக்கார் அது மட்டும் இல்லாமல் அவர் அகில உலக கிருஷ்ண பக்தி இயக்கத்தினுடைய ஜிபிசியோட மெம்பராகவும் இருக்கார் மேலும் குளோபல் ஈகோ வில்லேஜ் அப்படின்னு கோவர்தன் ஈகோ வில்லேஜ்னு மும்பை பக்கத்தில் இருக்குது அதுக்கு அவர் தான் தலைமை தாங்குறார் ஸோ இன்றைக்கி அவருடைய உபன்யாசத்தை கேட்குறதுக்கு நம்ம எல்லோரும் அதிர்ஷ்டசாலிகளாக இருக்கும் இந்த உபன்யாசம் தமிழில் மொழி பெயர்க்க போகிறது எஃப்எம் ஒன் ஜீரோ எயிட் ஸோ அதனால் நீங்கள் எஃப்எம் ஒன் ஜீரோ எயிட் ட்யூன் பண்ணிக்கோங்க ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய ஓம் நமோ பகவதே வாசுதேவாய நமோ பகவதேவாசுதேவாய ஓம் அஜானதிமிரந்தஞ்சனலாக்கூர்ஓன்மிலம் ஏன தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீகுரவே நம நம ஓம் விஷ்ணுபாதாய கிருஷ்ணபிரேஷாய பூத்தலே ஸ்ரீமதே பக்திவிதாந்தஸ்வாமின் நமஸ்தே சரஸ்வதி தேவே கௌரவாணி பிரச்சாரிணே நிர்விசேஷூன்யவாதி பாஷாத்தேஷதாரிணே ஜய ஸ்ரீ கிருஷ்ண சைத்தன்ய பிரபூ நித்தியானந்த ஸ்ரீஅத்வைத கதாதர் ஸ்ரீவாசதி கௌர பக்த பிருந்த ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா ஹரே கிருஷ்ணா 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே பகவத்கீதாஸ்ரீமத்பகவத்கீதா சாப்டர் சிக்ஸ் டெக்ஸ்ட் ஃபார்ட்டி 
श्री भगवान उवाच पार्थ नैवेह नामुत्र विनाशस्त विद्यते नहीं कल्याण कृत कश्चित दुर्गति तात गति श्री भगवान उवाच पार्थ नैवेह नामुत्र विनाशस्त विद्यते नहीं कल्याण कृत कश्चित दुर्गति तात गति श्री भगवान उवाच पार्थ नैवेह नामुत्र विनाशस्त विद्यते नहीं कल्याण कृत कश्चित दुर्गति तात गति माताजी श्री भगवान उवाच द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड सेड पार्थ ओ सन ऑफ प्रीथा न एव नेवर इज इट सो इह इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड न नेवर Amutra in the next life vinasha destruction tasya his vidyate exists na never he certainly kalyanakrit one who is engaged in auspicious activities kashchit anyone durgatim to degradation tata my friend gachati goes translation and purport by his divine grace la ac bhakti vedanta swami prabhu pad the supreme personality of god had said son of pritha a transcendentalist engaged in auspicious activities does not meet with destruction either in this world or in the spiritual world one who does good my friend is never overcome by evil purport in the shrimad bhagavatam 1517 shri narad muni instructs vyasdev as follows 
त्यक्वा स्वधर्म चरणुज हरेर्भजन पक्वोतपति तो यदि यत्र क्वा भद्रमूत अमुष्य कि को वार्थ आपतो अभजताम स्वधर्मत इफ समन गिव्स अप ऑल मटेरियल प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स एंड टेक्स कंप्लीट शेल्टर ऑफ द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड देर इज नो लॉस और डिग्रेडेशन इन एनी वे ऑन द अदर हैंड अ नॉन डिबोटी मे फुली एंगेज इन इज ऑक्यूपेशनल ड्यूटीज एंड येट नॉट गेन एनीथिंग For material prospects, there are many activities, both scriptural and customary. A transcendentalist is supposed to give up all material activities for the sake of spiritual advancement in life, Krishna consciousness. One may argue that by Krishna consciousness, one may attain the highest perfection if it is completed. But if one does not attain such a perfectional stage, then he loses both materially and spiritually. It is enjoined in the scriptures that one has to suffer the reaction for not executing prescribed duties. Therefore, one who fails to discharge transcendental activities properly becomes subjected to these reactions. The Bhagavata assures the unsuccessful transcendentalist that there need be no worries, even though he may be subjected to the reaction for not perfectly executing prescribed duties. He is still not a loser because auspicious Krishna consciousness is never forgotten. and one so engaged will continue to be so even if he is low born in the next life on the other hand one who simply follows strictly the prescribed duties need not necessarily attain auspicious results if he is lacking in krishna consciousness the purport may be understood as follows humanity may be divided into two sections namely the regulated and the non regulated those who are engaged simply in bestial sense gratification without knowledge of the next life or spiritual salvation belong to the non regulated section those who follow the principles of prescribed duties in the scriptures are classified among the regulated section the non regulated section both civilized and non civilized educated and uneducated non educated strong and weak are full of animal propensities Their activities are never auspicious because while enjoying the animal propensities of eating sleeping defending and mating they perpetually remain in material existence which is always miserable on the other hand those who are regulated by scriptural injunctions who thus rise gradually to krishna consciousness certainly progress in life those who are following the path of auspiciousness can be divided into three sections namely the followers of scriptural rules and regulations who are enjoying material prosperity those who are trying to find ultimate liberation from material existence and those who are devotees in krishna consciousness those who are following the rules and regulations of the scriptures for material happiness may be further divided into two classes those who are fruity workers those who desire no fruit for sense gratification those who are after fruity results for sense gratification may be elevated to higher standard of life even to the higher planets but still because they are not free from material existence they are not following the truly auspicious path the only auspicious activities are those which lead one to liberation any activity which is not aimed at ultimate self realization or liberated from the material auspicious concept of life is not material bodily concept of life is not law auspicious activity in krishna consciousness is the only auspicious activity and anyone who voluntarily accepts all bodily discomforts for the sake of making progress on the path of krishna consciousness can be called a perfect transcendentalist under severe austerity because the eightfold yoga system is directed towards the ultimate realization of krishna consciousness such practice is also auspicious and no one who is trying his best in this matter need fear degradation jay shri prabhupad ki yeah i was trying to see what is the word to word for tat prabhupad is writing in this particular shloka because tat also comes in the shrimad bhagavatam and shukadev goswami refers to parikshit maitre rishi also refers to vidura so most often it is son so i was thinking how is krishna calling arjuna like a son so friend is the understanding here so hare krishna 
நான் தமிழ் பேசுவேன் ஆனால் லெக்சர் இங்கிலீஷில் தான் கொடுப்பேன் உங்கள் பர்மிஷன் பிளெஸ்ஸிங்ஸ் இருந்தாக்கா இங்கிலீஷில் பேசுகிறேன் ஹரே கிருஷ்ணன் ஸோ ஃபஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் ஐ பின் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம்லி இம்ப்ரெஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்பயர்ட் அண்ட் வெரி எக்ஸைட்டட் பை மை விசிட் டு இஸ்கான் சேலம் especially by seeing the new full stone temple complex revol it is an excellent example of following the tradition by using whatever technology is available to create an inspiration for future generations on how the temples were operating with full stone structures in the ancient past <coughs> all of these temples are built with certain symmetry and carry a certain kind of spiritual power when it is done as per those symmetries and i was always a big fan of stone temples being made by many other organizations and uh, tried also at the eco village but very small size but what you have accomplished here is very very inspirational and it's a very difficult task to build a full stone temple and most people do not even go in that direction because of the difficulties and challenges involved but i can see that because it is the desire of his holiness bhakti vikas swami maharaj and gokul chandra prabhu and uh, gaur bhagwan prabhu and all our other devotees with great enthusiasm are putting their heart and soul to make this dream come true krishna is providing all the support intelligence and inspiration to make it happen and i can see it's only a matter of time when the deities of shri radha gokulananda will be installed in their new stone palace so congratulations to the whole team and uh, i would i can say that this place will become a a place of great pilgrimage especially in this part of tamil nadu and lot of people from far and wide even as they are crossing from bangalore going to kerala they will stop over and this will become a landmark for sure so in this particular verse the context is krishna is speaking to arjuna the path of yoga the ashtanga yoga so the gita consists of five topics ishvara jeeva prakriti kala and karma when the jeeva is involved in trying to control enjoy and be the proprietor of prakriti under the influence of kala and karma that process and that attempt is known as bhoga the jeeva is trying to enjoy prakriti and that bhoga efforts for attaining bhoga result in great anxiety chinta chintam a parimeyam cha pralayantam upashrita kamopa bhoga parama etavat iti nishchita till the end of his life he'll be in great anxiety because his priority and his focus is bhoga and as a result of going through this when that jeeva decides maybe there is another alternative 
And so, in the sixth canto, Srimad Bhagavatam, in the Ajamil pastime, the Yamadutas, they explain this principle. Esha Prakriti Sangena Urushasya Viparyaya Asitsa Evana Chirat Isha Sangat Viliyate When the Jeeva is engrossed in trying to enjoy the Prakriti, Prakriti Sangena and while trying to enjoy the Prakriti, utilizing the Kala and trying to dominate Prakriti in different ways, not knowing that he can never be outside the purview of Kala. But he is thinking that I am utilizing the Kala in my favor by utilizing every moment for enjoyment. Nidriya hriyate naktam vyavaye na javavyava diva chartha hai rajan kutumba bharane na and then he is engrossed in this karmic activities. So that is known as Prakriti Sangena Purushasya Viparyaya. So he is not observing that I am always trying to exploit Prakriti, but if I look up, I see there is Ishwar, the fifth topic. So Purusha Sangena. Prakriti Sangena Purushasya Viparyaya When one is only focused on Prakriti, he does not see that actually Prakriti belongs to Purusha. And I am also part and parcel of that Purusha. And so Krishna organizes to create reminders for the Jiva that don't be always obsessed with Prakriti I am also available for a relationship. Isha Sangat Viliyati. And so the Lord keeps providing various kinds of opportunities for Sangha. How? Through the Holy Name, through the Srimad Bhagavatam, through the Vaishnavas, through the Dhams, through the deities. These are all symbols of association symbols of the supreme lord providing association to the jiva so when the jiva looks in the direction of bhagavan ishwara then that relationship of the jiva when it is with prakriti for exploitation it is called bhoga when the jiva tries to establish a relationship with Ishwar with the intention to serve, that is known as yoga. And so Arjuna, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, while playing the role of an ordinary bewildered soul, with all of his calculations, he is coming to the conclusion that there is no way I can experience enjoyment by killing my relatives. Kim no rajena govinda, kim bhogair jivite nava. So Arjuna is kind of bewildered. So then Krishna starts explaining to Arjuna from the second chapter onwards that actually you should look at prakriti after establishing relationship with Ishwar and then understand that yes the Prakriti belongs to Ishwar Kala belongs to Ishwar and ultimately whatever karma you are doing is also being sanctioned and inspired by him only so then when you engage in an activity of relationship with Prakriti through Kala and Karma but through the lens of your relationship with Ishwar, then all of that becomes purifying. Yuktam bairagya muchyate. So therefore, Krishna starts revealing to Arjuna 
the different methods of yoga. So then he explains buddhi yoga, then he explains karma yoga, then he explains jnana yoga, then he explains nishkam karma yoga. And then he comes in the sixth chapter to ashtanga yoga. Yoga rurukshu and yoga rudha. So while Krishna explains the Ashtanga Yoga process, the process is so difficult that Arjuna, on behalf of all the conditioned souls, he puts forward this question. Chanchalam hi manak Krishna pramadhi balavadhanam Mind is so chanchal the mind is so agitating, how will we actually experience this? How is it possible? Like the uh, Avanti Brahmana also says, Nayam jano me sukha dukha hetu na devatatma griha karma kala mana param karanamamananti Sansara Chakram Parivarta Yetya. He says, I think these people are responsible for my distress. No. If I look deeply, they are not responsible. Then I think Devata, they are responsible. No. Griha, the Grihas are responsible. No. My past karmas are responsible, no. Kala is responsible, no. All of that may have their role to play, but manaha param karanam, my mind. Sansara chakram, the uncontrolled mind takes me through this sansara. So when the devotees were distributing books in America, they came across people who were asking the devotees that you are selling the Bhagavad Gita to us but we don't want the Bhagavad Gita there is a latest book which has become a bestseller we want that one what was that book? I am okay you are okay it was written by a psychoanalyst psychologist I am okay you are okay so the devotees came and told Prabhupada that Srila Prabhupada when you go to distribute people are saying can we get this book I am okay you are okay what should we reply Prabhupada said show them the Bhagavad Gita and tell them this book is I am okay you are not okay and you need to understand what is the goal of your life and what is your identity? Unless you understand your identity, you cannot understand what will be your service. And then when you understand your identity and your actual activity, then you can make attempts to reach your destination. So yes, manaha param karana mamananti Arjuna's uncontrolled mind made him paralyzed. Ve pathuscha shari reme ro maharshascha jayate Arjuna got totally bewildered. So the whole Gita was spoken and Krishna did not help improve Arjuna's archery skills in that one hour. Krishna did not go and get a new bow and arrow or a new chariot. Krishna did not take Arjuna from the battlefield to some other secluded place and said that spend one hour here, drink water, you know, after some time you will feel better. No, 
Krishna understood Arjuna's mind needs to be refocused. And therefore Krishna was speaking about the different processes of yoga and in the sixth chapter he brings Arjuna to Ashtanga Yoga which is a very technically detailed process and Arjuna just felt chanchalam mana my mind is so chanchal pramathi it is you know like a storm tornado balavat stubborn uh, balavat dridham very strong and dridham is stubborn I cannot control it and then you know Krishna says two ways you can control your mind abhyasena to kaunteya practice and detachment then Arjuna asks okay to do, if I do if I prioritize this practice and engage in detachment then I may be taking my break from so many other activities and then in the end if I am not able to complete this also I will be like a riven crowd, like a riven cloud. Neither spiritual nor material. What will happen to me? I am investing so much of my time and energy and all in this. So at that time Krishna says this verse. Partha naiva iha na amutra in this world or in the next and he is calling Arjuna Partha son of Pratha because Pratha Kunti has gone through so many episodes of fortune and misfortune and Kunti is always praying to Krishna that Sneha Pasha Imam Chindi Dridam Pandu Shubrishnishu Atha Bishvesha Vishwatman Vishwa Murte Svakeshu Me My dear Lord, please help me cut through my bonds of attachment. Let me be only attached to you. Kunti has gone through so much of misfortune but she only considers her attachment and relationship with Krishna the only source of her fortune. So Krishna is telling Arjuna, the real fortune is your spiritual connection. If you have an opportunity to connect spiritually, that is the biggest fortune. And therefore, Navaijana jatu kathancha navrajet mukunda sevayavam angasam smritim smaran mukunda angripa guha nampuna vihatu michena narasagrahojana Naradmuni tells Vyasdevji that actually the beauty of bhakti as compared to the Ashtanga Yoga process and other processes is Mukund Sevanyavad Anga Samsmritim by engaging in the service to the lotus feet of Krishna the process is not just simple but it is also very enlivening and it gives a lot of taste Smaran Mukund Angri Upaguhanam. So the devotee is able to replace all of his old memories of sense gratification with new delightful memories of serving Krishna through various ways like chanting, hearing, serving devotees, going for dham pilgrimages, worshipping the deities, distributing Krishna's literatures. So all of these experiences 
create so much of positivity that automatically he gets new memories so patanjali who wrote the yoga sutras he defines habit as memory of previous experience of pleasure memory of previous experience of pleasure so therefore if you replace your previous experience of pleasure with new experiences of pleasure previous experience of pleasure is based on the jiva trying to exploit prakriti through kala and karma but the new experience of pleasure is how the jiva is serving krishna and in that seva the pleasure is experienced in serving in sense control in discipline and then pleasing the lord and his devotees when one gets these new memories it automatically removes the old memories and one becomes filled with joy in krishna consciousness and narad muni is telling vyas dev ji to access these memories through devotional service is easier hundreds of times than through an ashtanga yoga process because just by that satsanga change happens satsangat mukta dusango atum na utsahate budhaha kirtyamano yasho yasya sakrit akarnya rochanam as soon as you come in satsang mukta dusango the effect of bad association is taken away amanistarite tomar iha agaman paramo dayalu tumi patita pavan ramanandra tells lord chaitanya mahaprabhu i have come here so that i can get your satsang what will that satsang do it is only satsang which can remove and destroy weakness of heart or hriday durbalyam and therefore patita pavan is used so what is the definition of patita he says vedanishtha madhye ardhe ek ved mukhe mane वेद निषिद्ध पाप करे धर्म नहीं गुणे वन हु नोस वॉट इज टू बी डन वॉट इज नॉट टू बी डन इफ नॉट शास्त्रिकली देन एटलीस्ट इंट्यूटिवली ही गेट्स द फीलिंग ऑफ गिल्ट वेन डूइंग समथिंग रॉन्ग बट स्टिल अनेबल टू स्टॉप सो दैट इज पतित वेद निषिद्ध पाप करे धर्म नहीं गुणे एंड सो रामानंद राय ग्लोरिफाइज लॉर्ड चैतन्य महाप्रभु माई डियर लॉर्ड दैट इज वाई ग्रेट पर्सनैलिटीज एंड साधु सु कैरी कृष्णा इन देर हार्ट ट्रैवल टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट देर संग सत्संग महंत स्वभाव तौरीते पामोर निज कार्य नहीं तबू जाता र घर इट इज द स्वभाव ऑफ महात्मा टू ट्रैवल दे डोंट हैव एनी पर्सनल वर्क स्टिल दे ट्रैवल बिकॉज दे आर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग द सत्संग गिविंग कृष्णा सो दैट इज वाई शिला प्रभुपाद ट्रैवल द होल वर्ल्ड एंड गिव अस the international society for krishna consciousness which can create satsang so prabhupad was in juhu giving lecture meeting a group of devotees suddenly mr bridge ratan mohata was a big businessman member of the birla family he entered offered obeisances shila prabhupad introduced him This is Mr. Bridge Ratan Mohata, 
big businessman. Mr. Mohota immediately said, Srila Prabhupada, you went to America with 40 rupees only. Now the property across all the world of ISKCON is worth more than 40 crore rupees. Srila Prabhupada, you are the real businessman. Prabhupada immediately said, then why don't you join my business? <laughs> he said, not now, but I will support from outside. So Srila Prabhupada traveled across the world and created this Sangha. Why? As Krishna says here to Arjuna, Partha naiveha namutra vinashastasya vidyate Whether you are devotee or not devotee, you will go through prosperity and adversity. Prosperity and adversity does not depend on whether one is a devotee or not. It will come anyway. But in the midst of prosperity and adversity, if one continues their spiritual journey, then at the level of the soul, the kalyana will continue to happen. Nahi kalyana krit kaschit durgatim. Because that person will continue because he is cared for by Krishna directly. Therefore, Thakur Bhaktivinoda says, Tomar sevaya dukha hoye jata Seto parama sokha Seva sukha dukha parama sampada Nashaye avidya dukha my dear Lord, in your seva, tumara seva hai, dukha hoi yata, whatever dukha I may go through, say to parama sukha, it is the cause of greatest sukha. Seva, sukha, dukha, parama sampada, nashai avidya dukha. In that seva, whatever sukha, dukha comes, why is it kalyanakrit? Nashai avidya dukha. So the purpose of human life is not to pray for prosperity and not to avoid adversity. But the purpose of human form of life is to please Krishna with our consciousness and with Krishna's grace we engage in his eternal service. Therefore Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is told by Raghunath Das Goswami Raksha ke rahata mohi ke mone chuti ba Ke mone prabhur shange Nila chale jaba I want to leave, give up all my family and come to you my dear Lord. Lord Chaitanya says, wait. What you do is not as important as what your consciousness is. You may take your body from one place to another place. But important thing is, the mind has to be purified. The mind has to be absorbed. So Lord Chaitanya says, Sthire hoya ghore jao, na hao batul, krame krame pai loka, bhava sindukul, become steady. Lord Chaitanya says, Go home. Don't become mad. That means whimsical. Krame krame. There are five things which are important in bhakti. The intensity in sadhana, the consistency of seva, the sensitivity in sangha, the integrity of our character and the purity of our intention. Develop all of these. How? Antare nishthakar 
बाह्य लोक व्यवहार अचिरे करीबे कृष्ण तुम्हारा उद्धार ऑलवेज मेडिटेट ऑन द लॉर्ड एंड इस पास टाइम्स विद इन योर हार्ट हैव फेथ इन कृष्ण विद इन अंतरे निष्ठा कर बाह्य लोक व्यवहार एक्सटर्नली परफॉर्म योर ड्यूटीज very soon krishna will be pleased so raghunath das goswami is thinking how will i escape but guards are always surrounding right and when family is not favorable it becomes difficult when i joined also family was very upset why is joining so i organized one lecture for all my family took one more devotee to give lecture to them and that devotee said bhagavatam says whoever become devotee in family 21 generations go back to godhead family was very happy all my cousins were smiling then one cousin came to me and said continue your krishna consciousness don't give up If you have any problem, let me know. So, therefore, Lord Chaitanya tells: In your current situation, there may be difficulties, but you are not the doer. If you are supposed to come to Krishna, Krishna will arrange everything for you. You just continue. depending on him don't extrapolate what you are going through in the present into the future because krishna is the master of time he can change anything so lord chaitanya he tells brindavan dekhibe ami asibo nila chole तबे तो मिया मा पाशा आसी ह कौन छले वेन आई गो टू वृंदावन एंड देन कम बैक टू पुरी दैट टाइम यू कम टू मी बाई यूजिंग सम ट्रिक सो रघुनाथ दास इज स्टिल थिंकिंग इवन लॉर्ड चैतन्य गोज टू वृंदावन एंड कम्स बैक टू पुरी बट द गार्ड्स हु हैव बीन पुट बाई माई फादर दे विल कंटिन्यू दे आर नॉट गोइंग टू गो विद लॉर्ड चैतन्य टू पुरी they will continue guarding me they will continue to stop me how is how is my life going to change what difference it makes if i run away now or run away then so lord chaitanya says se chale se kale krishna sphura be tumare krishna kripa jare tare ke rakhite pare Lord Chaitanya says, "At that time, when the Lord wants to inspire you and bring you close to Him, when He has made His plans, se chole se kalle Krishna spura be. Krishna will reveal the idea in your mind, what to speak, what to do, how to deal, and the doors will open." you may be thinking how this service can be done how can i am getting frustrated are relax you're not the doer se chhole se kale krishna sphura be krishna will reveal out of the blue something will happen and immediately krishna will inspire you do this and you will come out of that whole situation So Lord Chaitanya says, and ultimately you are wanting to run away and come to Puri to serve Krishna, Lord Jagannath. Krishna kripa jare tare, kera ki te pare. If Lord Jagannath wants to bring you close to Him, who can stop? So why you should be in anxiety? It is His service. He will facilitate that. so you just continue so therefore 
in our practice of krishna consciousness this verse is very important nahi kalyan krit kashchit durgatim tat gachati through our practice of krishna consciousness we are not trying to please the world we are not trying to please materialistic people we are not trying to make a show we are simply trying to sincerely practice and follow krishna's teachings and the acharya's teachings and aspire for their pleasure through their pleasure they will decide how they want to engage us so therefore kaviraj goswami says murkhani cha kshudra moi bishoya lalas vaishnava gya bole kore etak sahas i am murkha foolish niche fallen kshudra insignificant vishay lalas engrossed in sense gratification so then someone may say then why you are trying to write chaitanya charitamrita if you are so humble your seva doesn't seem so humble he says vaishnavagya bale on the strength of the instruction of the vaishnavas etek sahas shri roop raghunath charaner ei bal jara smrite siddh hoy banchita sakal and in this effort i am not only guided by my present association of devotees with me but i also am blessed by my predecessor acharyas shri roop ragunath charane re bel the dust of the lotus feet of those predecessor acharyas are so powerful just by remembering those lotus feet jara smrte siddh hoye will become successful all desires and therefore just to remember those instruction and try to follow those instruction and try to please the guru the parampara and the vaishnavas that effort is kalyanakrit and one can never experience inauspiciousness in this effort so therefore all of your wonderful efforts at preaching krishna consciousness in tamil nadu in fact tamil nadu needs thousands such stone temples and thousands of preachers to spread krishna consciousness and i also appreciate that you have such beautiful pastimes of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu because many people in south india are not aware of lord chaitanya's past times and it is lord chaitanya mahaprabhu spent two years touring south india so therefore your efforts are very important to bring krishna consciousness and hope to the last mile those who are completely oblivious about krishna consciousness here in tamil nadu so i offer my heartfelt best wishes for all your efforts and congratulate you for your amazing achievement in creating such a beautiful temple under the guidance and inspiration of his holiness bhakti vikas swami maharaj thank you all very much hari krishna shila prabhu pad ki tai gor premanandi